filming for Indie Nook. Oh my god. Hi guys, welcome back and it's Indie Nook here with your favorite ghost host with the most, Jesse Dusk. Today we're going to be talking about beautiful darkness and Jesus was this dark. A beautiful read, but seriously twisted. I kind of really underestimated how dark this was going to be. The follows Aurora, who is... It's almost like these beings are kind of like personified amoebas or something inside the decaying body of a girl who's gone missing. And the body is becoming so decayed that the little personified amoebas basically have to vacate the body because it's just turning into goo and sludge and all that deliciousness that a de decaying body turns into. So now they have to venture and survive in nature instead. And it... It just gets dark. Everybody just kind of starts slowly dying off. Her friend starts slowly dying off. The prince who she thought was into her starts going out with this other girl who's kind of like a little bit narcissistic. Like, not even a little bit, I'm not, no. She's very narcissistic. Awkward. But she runs into this other um, being who teaches her how to kind of like survive and be tough while living in this uh, warm and toasty cabin while the others are out in the cold. But essentially what ends up happening is she leads them into this cabin and I'm gonna let y'all read the book to find out what ends up happening in the cabin because it is twisted. It is dark. It is beautiful darkness. Um, really adorable. I don't want to call it simplistic because it's not super simplistic. There are points of it that are just like extremely intricate. And yeah, they have to fight off little nature, like nature, a um, couple of animals. One of them even manages to uh, capture a bird and use it to like run around and do errands. Um, it's a little bit barbaric. Um, so it's not for the faint of heart. It's definitely not a kid's book. It may look like it's a kid's book, but it's definitely not for kids because some very gruesome things happen in this. Again, it's always at viewer discretion. If parents feel like it's totally okay for their kids to read it, then again, that's up to a parent. But yeah, this was just really, really dark and I was not ready for it. Um, so that has been Beautiful Darkness. Sorry to keep this video kind of short, but being one of the biggest comic book shops, we are always extremely busy. And I will catch you all on Manga Monday. Yes. Y'all like my hairstyles? Y'all like my buns? I was going for Yusagi Sakino. What am I doing? Bye, guys. Me Buy books. Buy more books here at Austin Books and Cup. I don't know why I'm trying to